Okay, in this new tutorial, I'm going to cover how to create disciplines. There are uh, three major types of disciplines that you'll be programming, and I'm going to cover what the process is for scripting those disciplines and how to assign those scripts to a newly created discipline in in the uh, in the Vampire the Masquerade game. Uh, first thing I want to do, actually, I'm, I'm going to create another uh, another path at a new folder. Um, I'm going to call this uh, disciplines. And in here, I'm going to create a new script from scratch. And I'm going to call this dis uh, discipline uh, area. I'm going to create another script. Call this discipline target. and the third discipline and this will be discipline self <coughs> all right so I want to start with self right here um, every discipline should extend the discipline hierarchy to start with Let's take a look at an existing discipline. For example, awaken is a uh, is a target specific discipline. <clears throat> As you notice, its public procedure has three parameters: has a level, has the caster, has the target. If you take another discipline, let's uh, let's take uh, blood healing. It only has two cast parameters. It has the the level and the caster. <clears throat> now let's also take an area discipline. Let's see here. What would be a good area discipline? Plague wind. Plague wind is a is an area discipline. Notice that this has five parameters. It has level it has the caster and it has an X Y and Z parameter and this represents the position of which <clears throat> the player cast the discipline and what this typically does is it uh, it extracts that position and fires a projectile at that position so that's that's the three major disciplines you have to work with. So since I'm given an example of self, you typically would just put public int cast, and that's a uh, two-parameter discipline. So that's int level and int caster. Good. And it doesn't really matter what you name these variables per se, as long as you uh, <clears throat> understand what they mean. Oh yeah, must return a type. Let's return zero for now. Now, when you look at these disciplines here, um, let's take uh, let's take blood healing again. There's some additional there's some additional uh, commands in here, like uh, a do sanity check. <coughs> This uh, this uh, check cast parameters for sanity check is located in the discipline script. Let's take a look at that. This is actually designed to prevent a discipline from double casting, and it also makes sure that uh, that the discipline uh, does not exceed engine standards. <clears throat> so it's actually quite important. It to uh, in use to, of uh, preventing errors in the game when you're casting a discipline so every uh, 
every discipline you create should have a uh, check cast parameter command in it so that should be done first before you do anything else also it's looking for a discipline name um, we could probably put a variable in there for that Let's, uh, they typically make that out as a uh, public static final I'll just copy this out of laziness I'll just put it in there and I'm not gonna call it blood healing I'm gonna call it my new self discipline something stupid <laughs> <clears throat> also notice that uh, every discipline has a try catch exception error checker let's also uh, let's also copy that so since we're copying this might as well not have that error let's finish up the try and also let's fix indentation here so it looks right correct indentation there we go <coughs> So here's here's the basic structure. Oh yeah, this if we're in here, we should uh, we should return one because that's a that's a confirmation of a cast. If it's returning zero, it means that the cast failed. If we're returning one, it means it succeeded. And you always have to have that return number. It's either zero or one. <coughs> zero for failure, one for success. And that's the bare bone minimum needed to build a proper discipline script for a discipline that casts on self. So let's, uh, let's also build the bare bone basics for a discipline target as well extends discipline. Make sure it extends discipline. <coughs> and a target discipline is a three parameter discipline. So it takes level first, it takes the caster second, and then it takes the target for third. eventually it'll return something. Now let's uh, let's take a look at how yeah a target discipline has two checks. It, uh, it checks both the caster and it uh, checks again for the target. We're gonna take both of those for our target discipline. And I'm also going to be copy pasting here. I'm going to call that a target discipline. And I might as well grab this. Let's try catch error there. And that's the bare bone basics for a targeting discipline. So whatever you want to create, whatever effect you want to actually start up, you would code in the in the inside the try. Inside this uh inside this segment. Now for building our area discipline here. That's a five parameter discipline. <clears throat> takes level first, takes the caster second, and and a f three float values, float, x, float, 
y and float z. We also have set up world too. We might want to set up the world for a particular area discipline. You may want to include a set up world so that it can it does all of its proper air checking and whatnot. And now for the rest is pretty much the same.